Welcome to the Show Me Your Craft Room Blog Hub. I hope you enjoy seeing my craft room as much as I enjoy creating in it. Let's go. I'm giving you a, just a quick overview on how it looks. I've done it all in pinks and greens as well as a white little border going around it because I like it bright. You can see I've got lots of storage areas and I'll be taking you through some of those with some quick good ideas for how to keep it all organized the way I do. A little OCD sometimes but it works when you're trying to find something. So let's start behind the door. First of all, I went over to, I think it was Walmart or maybe Bath and Body, Bed, Bath and Beyond, whatever they're called, and I picked up this really neat plastic storage unit where I keep all of my Cricut cartridges. I keep them in the box because unlike a lot of people I know you like to keep them separate, I am very visual and I like things together. And I do have them sorted by categories with fonts and pop-up cards and so on and the decorative ones on top and I find it easy to keep it organized like that. So there's an, it's a very cheap way to keep it. You might want to try it. And then over here on the right, I've got some shelving on top. Um, one of my very favorite pieces is the dress form. Uh, I saw that done at one of the uh, shows and I said, I've got to copy that. So I used the die cuts with a view and went to their site and used some of their ideas and I love that piece. Um, we also have on the bottom shelf I've got scrapbook pages that I've worked on and you can see some of them on my site. Uh, I have this one of my three granddaughters and on the end I have the I love you one which I really love. I'll just show it to you over here. This one over here. Another great idea is keeping, I'm sorry, another great idea is keeping your pages that you do, um, or cards or whatever, projects, in little books. Because this way you can go back and remember, that's why I called it remember, what you worked on. So these are really great. They're also decorative and I just put some ribbons on the end but it gives you a really good idea of what you've worked on. All right, under here, just get that back, whoops. Under here, I have uh, a triple cabinet. This company is fabulous. I love it because they have one inch drawers, two inch drawers, as well as three inch drawers, which you'll see um, a little further down over here. Uh, in the triple cabinet, you can organize it however you want. So if you feel you need one inch drawers, like on this one, where I put just some frames, uh, you can use that. If you feel you need a deeper drawer, then you can go with the two inch drawer. This is all for vellum. As you can see, I have labeled everything because it makes my life a lot less complicated. So for example, here I have Sizzix numbers and texture plates. And I can just pull them out and I know exactly where they are. A little further down, I've got gold embellishments. These actually belonged to my dad, who was extremely creative. And I keep all of them. And these are little mini trays. These come totally out, as well as the whole shelf comes out, which I'll show you. I won't do it with these because I don't want to drop anything. And then buttons as well. Or if you have gems, you can organize them like that. It's a great great item. One inch just for some paper or if you're doing uh, different projects like coming up for Valentine's you'll know exactly where they are. Then over here it's great for stamps too because I've used the two inch drawers and if you just want to take the entire thing out that's what's nice about it. You can take it to your desk and you can see they come on tracks. So you can just slide them in and you're good to go. And I also arrange my stamps by flowers and whatever the, the subject matter is. Over here, now here's an example of the three inch drawer. 
The three inch drawer gives me a lot more depth. And what I've done, this is my most fun idea yet, is all these scraps of ribbon that weren't on rolls and I didn't want them hanging. I went to Michael's, bought cheap, cheap, really cheap bags. And I put the colors together so that I know if I'm looking for purple, I have purple. Or like now, I'm going to need a Valentine ribbon. I have some extra. I don't have to just go and get a new roll for it. So I love this idea. This one's working very well. And then just to complete it over here, these are deeper. You'll notice that the other ones um, were just like an inch high. These are much deeper. And again, you could just take out the whole thing. So, great idea. These are just flowers. Flowers, buttons, whatever it might be. Or even electronics. All right. Moving over here. This area here is my little office, so to speak. My most favorite piece is my Cricut, and I have blinged it out because that's the way I go. Um, my website, uh, which of course you're on right now, uh, with my new computer that I also love. Alright, heading this way. Oh, and oh, one more thing. Wait, I forgot on my office. I also have my silhouette, which I use the die cutting on there as well, but not as much. And one other thing too that's kind of important is this little P-Touch. This is how I keep my OCD rolling because it labels everything that you're seeing in the room. So that's a, a great handy thing to have. On my little desk area, since my granddaughters come in and always want everything that grandmom's doing, um, I've got a drawer just for Emma, Lila, and Ava. So they have their own craft drawers. And you can see they've got their names on it with all their crayons and books and markers. Okay. It may be snowing where you are, but I'm going to show you. This is my view, which I absolutely love. And you can see that if I want, I can just oops, open it out. And I've got absolutely beautiful hibiscus, palm trees. It's just a really, really pretty view. Florida view. Sorry if it's snowing where you are, but it is beautiful here in 80 degrees.